According to the European Space Agency, ESA, the comet probefully may have bounced when it landed. It is the first time a soft landing has been achieved on a comet but there was a hitch. Comet 67P has a very weak gravity, so anchoring harpoons were designed to shoot into the comet to fix the spacecraft to the surface. They failed to fire and fully is not firmly secure, ESA says. Fully lander manager Stefan Ulamek said the probe may have lifted off again and turned. So maybe we didn't land once, we landed twice, he told a news conference. Did we land in a soft sandbox or is there something else happening? We don't fully understand what happened, he said. Dolamek said scientists remain upbeat as they are still receiving data from the spacecraft and they hope to learn more Thursday. Shortly after landing was confirmed, the probe tweeted, Touchdown. My new address, 67P. Later, it tweeted again, I'm on the surface but my harpoons did not fire. Speaking to CNN shortly after the landing, ESA lander system engineer Lawrence O'Rourke said they were trying to check the orientation of the craft, to see how we landed and where we landed. We are extremely happy, he said. To get the signal it had touched the surface was a major achievement, it was quite extraordinary. Fully is already taking measurements, sniffing the comet. He also said the probe could start drilling into the surface and analyzing the material as soon as Thursday. The comet is currently 500 million kilometers from Earth and pictures from the Rosetta mission to track it on its orbit around the Sun have amazed scientists.